The Fujita scale is used after the tornado takes place to measure how strong the winds were. For example, when we talk about an EF0 tornado, we're talking about wind damage caused by winds of 65 to up to 85 miles per hour. Now, when we talk about an EF1 on the uh, Fujita scale, we're talking about winds of 86 to 100. 10 miles per hour. Then we get into the EF2 rating, which is 111 to 135 miles per hour. And uh, that would be done, of course, by a bigger diameter tornado. And of course, uh, it is going to do a lot more damage with these winds. So we're looking for damage in this range. Now, we've been talking a lot about EF4 tornadoes and EF3 tornadoes. Uh, these still do massive damage. An EF3 tornado uh, with winds of 136 to 165 miles per hour can do damage. Now when we get into the EF3 and then especially into the EF4 rating for the Fujita scale, uh, they call the EF4 and the EF5 rating a devastating tornado. And a lot of times there's absolutely nothing left after this uh, kind of tornado moves through. Uh, tornado winds out of this, the measurements after the fact, of course, this is not measured during the tornado itself, but the damage uh, winds are anywhere from 166 to 200 miles per hour. And then we have the EF5, which is at the top of the scale. Uh, that is total devastation, and EF4 and EF5 are considered total devastation, but that would be winds of above 200 miles per hour, and of course that would do massive damage on the Fujita scale.